But this is the reality of it. These women that are coming are being raped. raped. The children that are coming are being raped. They're being sold, they're being trafficked. There is modern day slavery happening at a scale we've never seen before in this country. Keeping our republic is on the line and it requires patriots with great passion, dedication, and eternal vigilance to preserve our freedoms. Jenny Beth Martin is the co-founder of Tea Party Patriots. She is an author, a filmmaker, and one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. But the title she is most proud of is mom to her boy-girl twins. She has been at the forefront, fighting to protect America's core principles for more than a decade. Welcome to The Jenny Beth Show. This episode of The Jenny Beth Show was recorded on Radio Row at Turning Point Action's Restoring National Confidence Summit in Las Vegas. Ben Burkham is the founder of Frontline America and an investigative reporter for Real America's Voice. Ben has spent extensive time covering the southern border and has done an incredible job exposing just how dangerous the border really is. I'm so excited about our next guest. It's Ben Burkham, who is now with Real America's Voice, but he's been part of the Tea Party movement since 2009 when we began, which is 15 years now. That's wild. It's wild to think about the time, how fast it goes, and and everything that's happened in between. Yes, and you were... I'm from the Central Valley yeah. in in California. You were in our Tea Party documentary back in 2009. Yeah. And we went through and did the Farmer Relay at the yeah. end of 2009 and ended right before Thanksgiving in the Central Valley helping raise awareness for the issue, the yeah. water management issue that was going on there at the time. Yeah, really, it's, uh, it's the uh, attack by the radical environmentalists uh, against farming in the Central Valley of California. And that was... They basically went and destroyed an entire industry, and it's it's what they've basically become. It's you know the the radical environmentalists, the climate change, uh, the religion of climate change. It's really an industry killer. Uh, they did it with timber harvesting years ago in the community where I grew up, and then now they were doing it, and they're still doing it with uh, env- with uh, agriculture. And so that was kind of my my first taste into. Uh, Politics. I was a, a graduate student at Fresno State at the time and uh, was involved in politics and saw the direction our country was going and said, this is not right. And uh, I was honored to be able to be a part of it, the youth spokesperson at the time. Yeah. And, and then, you know, fast forward, uh, really, it's the Tea Party movement that made way for the MAGA movement and President Absolutely. Trump. Uh, we saw the, the horrors of, of Barack Obama and uh, that whole shift, that pendulum shift back to the right and you know, through the Tea Party, and then ultimately is what gave us Donald Trump the first time. And so uh, it's been a, a, an amazing ride. And then at the same time, though, through that, uh, I can't imagine, I can't believe it. If you'd have told me where we are today uh, versus where we were then, how far the left has gone towards insanity, pure evil, uh, it's, I, I would have said, no way, it couldn't happen that fast. Radical transformation of America. Yeah. It, and Joe Biden, I mean, yeah. Barack Obama said that's what they were going to do, and, 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 and they did it. And that's what's happened. Yeah. Now, you are, right now, anyone who's following you online really knows you're focused on the border. We, you, um, Tea Party Patriots, Steve Bannon, all of us have been paying attention to the border issue since 2013, 2014. So we paid a lot of attention to, we did a documentary about the border back in 2014. Yeah. Then Donald Trump comes down that escalator and says he's going to build a wall. And people pay attention to you know he like he turned that in he he truly was a leader because we're sitting there like trying to get attention for it and he comes out and drives the entire nation to pay attention to this issue and now we see with biden complete lawlessness when it comes to the border and the issues that are happening there what do you think about what we've seen with the border over the last 10 years or so from when we first started paying attention to it really through the Trump presidency to now? Well, uh, originally this was a bipartisan failure. You know, it was Democrats wanting the cheap labor, or excuse me, the the easy votes and power. It was Republican, and and particularly the Chambers of Commerce, uh, the, you know, which have become the establishment rhino wing of the Republican Party that wanted the, the cheap labor. And it was not until President Trump that you had somebody come along and say, wait a second, this is not good for America. It's not good for either side. And he actually did it and kept his promises, did more than anyone else to actually secure our country. You saw Barack Obama basically open the doors, use the refugee resettlement program uh, as the, the uh, through the Office of, of Refugee Resettlement as the 
uh, the Trojan horse to invite millions of uh, illegal, uh, mainly uh, Muslim jihadists, you know, from right. uh, jihadist countries into the Northeast. And so we've seen Michigan transformed. We've seen Wisconsin transformed. We've seen Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota transformed. Uh, all of that was Barack Obama and, and, and before him as well. But Barack Obama really exacerbated it. Then President Trump came along and said, wait, this is not good for America. Right. And he was attacked for it. He was demeaned for it from the left, but also from the right, the Paul Ryans of the world. Uh, they did more to, to hamper his movement and to actually stop it. But he still, through executive order, did more than any other president. Uh, and then you see now it, it's gone from a crisis to pure treason. You have Joe Biden, you have Secretary Marcus, and you have these this organization of leftist groups across America, uh, NGOs, non-governmental organizations that are not just profiting off the invasion of America, but they are orchestrating it. They, they are. are. They are working globally to train people, to tra game them on, or game the immigration system. It's immigration fraud. But it's worse than that because they know what they're doing. And, and the real question is that I, I, I think most Americans probably don't even think about, but needs to be asked and needs to be investigated, is Mexico is, for all intents and purposes, a failed narco state. How many politicians in America are also now corrupted by the cartels? And that's that's really where some focus needs to be held. When, when we take power back, and I pray we do this year, uh, we've got to do some investigations. We've got to first defund the United Nations, the UNHCR, which is the, the catalyst, the driver for most of this, and then all of the other tentacles that go down through Catholic Charities, Lutheran Social Services, Jewish Family Services, and a and hundred other organizations like El Otro Lado, Pueblo Sin Fronteras, Centro Sin Fronteras, that are all part of this mechanism. It's, it's, a, it's a global illegal alien industry now. It all is. of those, yeah. they need to be dismantled, they need to be uh, defunded, dismantled, and prosecuted. And that's really the, the next step where we need to go. Because if that doesn't happen, there are no consequences for it. And if there are no consequences for it, it will continue to happen. That's right. Yeah. It, and this it's is true, truly lawless. Yeah. And, and I think in the past, we we gave people the benefit of the doubt on both sides and said, OK, well, it's you know, it's really not that bad. OK, these guys are using it for political gain. Nobody really wants to fix the problem. Now we see where you have Democrats, open borders Democrats, who are not just ignorant to the issue, they are complicit in the invasion. They are working against America. They, they yeah. know what they're doing is putting America at harm, and that is their, they're breaking their number one oath that they took to the Constitution and the citizens of the United States. And it's, to me, it's the definition of treason. Um, that's what we're up against. And sadly, you've got Republicans, not all of them, you've got some fighters, but you've got too many of them, the Lankfords of the world, who who will go with the Democrats. I mean, this bill that's just come out that they're proposing is a slap in the face of the intelligence of America to say that we're going to go from the worst invasion we've ever seen, 300,000 illegals coming across a month, to somehow it's better to guarantee that we're going to see in perpetuity 150,000 a month. We can't have it's, that. It's the we death of our country. Have that. It is the death of our country. And it, we absolutely cannot have it. And it's, it bothers me so much because it's rewarding lawlessness yeah. within the administration. There, there are no consequences to Biden except to say, yeah. oh, well, you can just keep doing it forever and anyone else who wants to can as well. There were no laws that changed. No right. law that changed between Trump and Biden. None. And Trump was able to secure the border and Biden is has turned it into an open border. Yeah. And in fact, there really were no laws that were changed between Obama and Trump and Biden because right. we've been trying and the left has been trying something different. So the law just never has changed. The so what's happened is the laws are already there. That's They're what's crazy there. about this is they just have to be enforced. And we had Obama who didn't enforce that. Now, he did deport a lot of people. He, he got credited for uh, deporting more people than, than uh, even Trump. But the, the difference was he, he wasn't even letting some of them across the border. He was, he was basically selectively allowing right. people in. And before they even came in and were authorized to come into the country, he would just send them back across. But Joe Biden has taken that model and said, Everybody can come, yeah. and 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 basically, he is breaking the law. Secretary Marcus is breaking the law. President Trump 
really was the first one to go in and, and, and truly enforce the law and say, we're not only going to do that through his his power of the as the executive, we're going to even go beyond that. The problem with that is as soon as you get a new executive, they can come in and undo some of what he put into place. And so that's why we really do need Congress. We need a Republican Congress. And now you have guys like Fetterman, who's actually coming out shockingly yes. and supporting border security. We've got to have them come together and say, this is a this is a nonpartisan issue. This is a, a national security issue. This is a, a success of our nation and our children's future issue. We've got to come together and fix this. But I really, uh, sadly, I don't see any change until President Trump's back in office, until we, we actually right. take it back. And until then, we are slow bleeding America, our prosperity, our future, our children's future. Um, and it is, it, people need to understand this. It's not by accident. This no. is by design. No, there's nothing. And, and, the, it, unless you've been down there, it's hard to understand. Yeah. But when you go and see it firsthand, you just realize this is deliberate. Yeah. This is very well organized. It it doesn't, this many people don't move across the way that it's happening. Just, yeah. They're invited they're in. They're coming in. F- they're flying yeah. into Mexico. They're flying in from all over the world. And they're not flying here to America because right. they can't actually get into America through our airports. Right. It's, it's a, so crazy. It's insane. It's insane. So there's, there's, I, the best way I like to think about it is, is like tributaries of a river. There is this international, global illegal immigration industry now where you've got these organizations, NGOs, and the cartels now working together in, in hundreds of countries around the world with these pipelines. Uh, And they basically teach people how to come. And then as people come, then they send word back to their family and they say, this is how we did it. And so you have some people flying into Brazil, some people flying into Colombia, some people flying into uh, Ecuador, some people flying directly into Mexico, some into Nicaragua. And they all get on this pipeline and they ultimately all get distributed by through the cartels to different ports of entry and then handed over to the NGOs that were helping them, aiding the cartels along the way. But all of that. So we understand all of that. The worst part to me is the fact that the Republicans, seeing all this, that you still have Republicans that don't stand up and say we were going to shut down the border until we sh- or shut down the government until we shut down the border. It's because, it, I, you know, I wonder if Senator Lankford has actually been down there and That's seen a good what question. you and I have seen. Because I, th- I think in his heart, I've met him, and I, I, I think that he's a well-meaning individual who's very, very compassionate. And I think what he thinks he's doing is being compassionate and solving the problem. And what I don't think he understands is that it isn't compassionate and it's actually going to just keep this going. Ben. It's going to exacerbate it. It's going to make it worse. I've seen, I I keep having to go back and forth through Phoenix because Phoenix is a swing state. And I've already been to the border over the last several, several months. And I'm sure I'm going to be back very soon but um one of the things that i noticed is every time i go through the phoenix airport i see people who are clearly yeah just straight from the border or very soon from it and they have a phone and they have a cord with the phone and then they have a clear plastic ziploc bag with papers in it and that's all they're traveling with yeah and there was this one lady who i saw who was sitting at the airport and she had a little toddler and the toddler was there was a mom nursing um sitting down on the ground and the toddler was kind of um bothering the mom and the baby nursing no one would do like if we see that you're like no come back over leave that that mom alone this lady who was responsible for the toddler was just staring into space and i don't know if it was her daughter or if it was a child who was assigned to her to take care of i don't know what was going on staring into space She looked like she was in shock, like she had been through the most horrendous experience in her life and she just couldn't deal with it at all right then. So so I just want to end with this. Lankford, there is a lot of ignorance out there for the people that haven't been there, but... They can't. There, you can't uh, claim ignorance anymore because everything that's at the border is now coming to your community. Oklahoma is as much a border state as any other state is. Go to Oklahoma City. You've got hundreds, thousands of illegals getting dispersed throughout that city. Lankford can't claim that. Although these politicians live in their ivory towers, they don't have to live with the policies. But this is the reality of it. These women that are coming are being raped. Raped. The children that are coming are being raped. They're being sold. They're being trafficked. There is modern day modern day slavery is happening happening at a scale we've never seen before in this country and every one of these policies coming out of Washington DC and Lankford's policy if it's passed will increase that 
And that's the reality. It's not compassionate. It is it's evil. It's not compassionate. It's pure, it's pure evil. evil. It has to stop. And I appreciate everything that you're doing to shine a light on it. And James O'Keefe has been doing a lot of work. We've been down there. Our documentary is Border States of America because yeah. every state is a border state, not just one. All of us are border states. And we have to keep doing this. We've got to secure elections and win elections so that yeah. we can then get to work to pass legislation to solve Those the Those are the problem. most two important issues of our generation right now, election security and border security. If we Absolutely. don't have those, we don't have a country. Ben, thank you so much for being with me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to doing more with you and maybe even going to the border with you sometime soon. Looking maybe forward to it. Maybe with you and Scott Pressler. I love it. Let's do some cleanups. All right. All right. Thank you. God bless you. The Jenny Beth Show is hosted by Jenny Beth Martin, produced by Kevin Mooneyhan, and directed by Luke Livingston. The Jenny Beth Show is a production of Tea Party Patriots Action. For more information, visit teapartypatriots.org. If you like this episode, let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment or a five-star review. And if you want to be the first to know every time we drop a new episode, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for whichever platform you're listening on. If you do these simple things, it will help the podcast grow, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.